the, the Mexican community in Texas has to get their act together. They're just abducting children. It's the only explanation I can think of. Mm. Why does Texas have three times the amount of Amber Alerts than everyone else? I think it might it might be even more than three. It's something ridiculous. Gotta be them coyotes, man. Basically, it's really annoying. Can yeah, stop, can tired you of, tired stop of getting my, fucking abducted? Tired of my phone buzzing all the time. It is like yeah. you also five feel, year old you also, Hispanic. You also, you also feel guilty. <laughs> Girl. You feel guilty turning it off. You ever? I, not even a shred. <laughs> not even a little bit. Wait, you bit. can turn it off. I didn't know. You, yeah. Wait, you can turn it off. You can turn it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't turn it. You can off. opt out of Amber Alerts. Absolutely. I'm just not gonna. Man, I hope my kids never get stolen one day <laughs> when I have them. Help yeah, I'm gonna feel really Didn't bad. Didn't you know? That Everyone's phone got pinged. Your kid got. Your kid got abducted. You're like, <laughs> I'm like, fuck. No. I turned that off six years ago. Poetic retribution type shit. You're like, no. <laughs> that's kind of like we were talking about me and Hunter, and you th you think this is dumb, of course, but uh, oh, of course. Okay, well, don't say of course. How many? Like, how many? How many retard jokes are you allowed until like? You know, you have to worry that your kid's gonna have a problem. Come out retarded. Okay, yeah, first yeah. off, I don't think that it's some black magic voodoo spell. No, 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 no. Argument. But it's but, you just feel kind of like, eh, wouldn't no, that be but like I a mean, good I agree twist because in this it's story, kind of like, uh, you know? Wouldn't yeah, that be it, it's, it's definitely like if you joke about something for so long. There's been times where I've said something where I'm like, yeah, I don't know. They fell in a pool. <laughs> and you sit there and you kind of laugh for a second, and all of a sudden you're like, hmm, I feel like my child's really, gonna drown in a pool when really, it's when it's older or something. Fall in a pool, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think that it's. I, I would say over five. Over five. <laughs> I would say. I, I'd say. I'd say five's the limit. Because Wait, is it five per kid or five overall? I would say five per kid. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I think that it's five. At this per point, we're gonna have to have a thousand sires to get one that's not got three arms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what the fuck? What kind of hill have eyes kind of fucking children are you having? Because we've made so many retard jokes. Yeah, and also does it count? Do you get like a multiplier if you put it in a YouTube cartoon with millions of views? <laughs> the more exposure just... it gets, the more retarded your kid is. <laughs> We're making the whole problem worse you're like, right you're like, now. You're selling your fucking, you're selling like the future of your like genes and your bloodline for fucking YouTube views. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you're like, more, more. The, the retarded devil is clapping his hands. <laughs> yes! yes, yes. Cursing your children, Justin. Let's 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 think <laughs> let's let's, 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 let's think about that one. All right, buddy. Thank you. I I don't think there's anything you, you, to think you, about, my friend. Yeah, you let us know that if that stays in. Yeah, you know, just Justin. In. Justin, you just you just send us a random message, and it just says. It's staying in, or it's got to be out. That's all I want to see with edits. Now we're gonna leave little, we're gonna leave little uh, notes like this in there, and then I just want the response like that. That, that would be, <clears throat> that'd bring me a lot of joy. I feel like I'd feel like one of the tr Shark Tank people. Well, the problem is, by the time you listen to the episode again after Justin's edited it, you kind of forgot what you spoke about in the right. first place. Was so around. he's probably like against my wishes, removed plenty of stuff that would have crashed and cratered our careers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably a good thing then. I'll, I'll, no, I'll, the people need to hear. I, I kind of like the idea of him just being like, we got to cut it. And then we're just like, what did we even say? Because like you said, like, yeah, you're like, you forget. <laughs> and it becomes this mystery of you're just like, oh, my God, what? What did I do? It's almost like a weird, like you got, you like roof yourself be between episodes that you record. You just completely forget. Cause I, a hundred percent every time I'm like, what episode was that? What did we say on that one? Every time I can never remember. It, yeah, no, it's, uh, there's been a couple times where I've had like flashbacks. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I swear I said something in this podcast. <laughs> mm, a little nervous about They put everyone on edge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if uh and now it's gone when you guys uh whenever coronavirus is all done right um yes what do you think what's what do you think is the first like big public thing you're gonna do you know what i mean like literally what, like, what, what don't do you... leave the house so nothing has changed for me yeah, with so, coronavirus. Tom, so, so tom like i'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through tom, a tom's, tom's i'll get a burger out yeah it's gonna be there a you McDonald's. go i'm gonna get a mcdonald's or a five yeah. guys or something like that yeah don don cares nothing about corona so he's already gone and done that good man yeah. Don, Don looks at probably... death right in the face and laughs. That's that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's, every, that's Don with every, this pandemic. Every time. Just go, go pull up and get a Whataburger. Do you have, did you have Whataburger anywhere you've ever lived? Or is that just a Texas thing? I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's more of like a Southern thing. I, I think, isn't, isn't Whataburger in like Texas, Arizona? And somewhere else, some, something like that. I've never had it. it. Is, I, I've never, yeah, I've never had it before. We had it once, and it's so offensively mediocre. That's what that all of them whenever, are, dude. Every, every every chain of restaurant, when I lived on the West Coast, and everybody was like, 
You gotta have in and out. You gotta in have and it. Out. It's the best. Also, their secret menu. And I'm like, wow, they put some cheese on some fries with some fucking onions. They're called jungle mm. fries. You're like, would you fuck off? Like, <laughs> these aren't that good. Like, I remember, I remember the first time I had in and out. I was like, I would, I would have much rather just had a Five Guys. I, would, I would have rather just had a Five Guys burger if I'm being honest. Oh well, yeah, and, I mean, that, and that was the exact wait, wait, same. So you're, you're, you're denigrating Five Guys, guys, though, with that statement. How do you feel about Five Guys? Oh, I, I mean, I love it. Yeah. Why? Yeah. People, it's really people, not that special, is it? I mean, is it that much I mean, of a higher class of burger than I think, like, the I think other it is, fast food I think it chains? is above Five Guys? fast food places. I, know. I think so. I know I think so. Tom thinks, Tom above, thinks but the, uh, the Whopper is the best burger on the planet. Oh my god. Buy. You're just like frozen Hey, I go, like I'm, frozen I'm not meat. some elitist prick. I just go by taste, baby. You, you, yeah, um, and, and, and like, the, the, taste of, the, the taste of non-frozen meat is so much better than frozen meat. See, you're bringing in other factors already. You know it's frozen and non-frozen, so it's biasing you. I just go by flavor. Not at all. Taste test. Not at Double all. Double blind oh, study, nah. like a scientist. A you just have like That's you just me. have like. Uh, I, I think when you were younger, your dad just knew that you were a fucking idiot and started burning your tongue with his lighter, so you, you can't taste shit anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you just have okay. This, well, first you just off, have we just, scorched tongue. When I was a kid, we didn't have Five Guys in the UK, and we barely have it now. Literally, all we have is McDonald's, Burger King, and KFC. No, so well, no wonder so maybe, you just grew up on yeah. that filth. But no, if I had to say, Fucking delicious. But I, 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 but I was gonna say back to the point though. With like even on the East Coast, though, Shake Shack was the ex exact same. People were like, oh, Shake, Shake Shack is way though. better. It's it's a. I mean, it's me. It's it's whatever. It's what fine. The, what do you? What you, I I would put it on about the same level as Five Guys, just a bit below. But it's, yeah, it's but the thing like is, it's like, like even with Five Guys, Five Guys isn't like the best fucking burger I've ever had, but it's still good. Same with like, it's not like I'm complaining about In and Out. It's just they are all mediocre, and I just hate when people like well, put these maybe, fucking gang wars against each other. It's like who, like maybe they're hyping it within its class, like within its weight class. Like yes, it's a lightweight, but still it punches so hard that you have to try it about, about compared to its ones, other right. competitors. I suppose, but to that point, what a burger! I hate. I really. Do not rate In and Out, and Whataburger is even beneath In and Out. Wow, I just don't get it. And like hmm. to go out now during the pandemic and look around and like see the risks people are taking, like to risk eating at Whataburger. Like I just gotta have some Whataburger is insane mm. to me. There is this it's place. Fucking stupid. Well, yeah, but if, I just if you can't had, not if you had eat to fast bend, food or fucking takeout. Yeah, I just can't bear it for another few months. Mm -hmm. Done. The uh, so wait, so <laughs> what, what was the, what was the thing you said that you were gonna do? What I'm was gonna the go thing? eat fucking fast food, Don. What well, are you I, I, no, no, I know you are, you bitch. I was talking to Don. Um, well, what what do you mean by pandemic over? Like literally, things are back to normal, or like, yeah, like you know, whenever it's just like people are like going out, they're like exiting their fucking like doomsday shelters and they're breathing the fresh air again. Type to like what 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 do you plan on? What country? What, what, what's are you what's something in? you miss? I mean, I it, miss... it was more of a metaphor, <laughs> but I mean, I'm in my doomsday bunker now. I just, so. I just mean like, yeah, maybe every other country, but certainly not America. I actually checked today, and excuse you, sir, the deaths per capita, like the deaths per million, are basically the same in the UK as here, right? In spite of how much, regardless of who it. has more, I'm deaths not talking or not. about death rates. I'm just talking about like people's willingness to be locked down right, or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But America's sure. a breathing fresh air the whole goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just tinged with particles. Yeah, of COVID. We, won't, we won't even breathe it through a mask. Well, fine. Since this is so taking so long, enough. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna bar yeah, hop, well, and I'm gonna and really I'm gonna go wanted, and I'm going to karaoke. The, first, the oh, tell us, Manta, what are you gonna do? Karaoke. I'm gonna go. I'm doing karaoke. I'm gonna get sloppy drunk, and I'm gonna go sing some Hinder and some Creed and some others '90s <laughs> '90s butt rock for the masses. Can you take ah! me? No, 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 no. I do. Uh, my favorite Creed one to do is uh, with ar with arms wide open. He's like. <laughs> Light of hell, <laughs> under hell, the sunlight. <laughs> my little portrait. He just do that every time. That was such a popular you, singing style. Dude, for a while. I, that oh, sounds yeah, like a great man. time. If we went to karaoke, I would go to karaoke with you and watch. You know, what I hate though like is that. when people want to karaoke and they're like, "Let's get a private room." I'm like, "No, you have to be in front of strangers to make it fun." Mm -hmm. You have to like mm. subject people that are not there. Like some girls are like Beyonce, like yeah, and I fucking put on Hinder Lips of an Angel, and they have to sit through that <laughs> whole song. I'm like, if I have to sit through your bullshit, you have to sit through my bullshit too. If I'm like, it's really good to hear your voice say my, say my name. My name. Sounds so sweet. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm like, I'm getting up in people's faces. I'm in there. Don't you feel embarrassed though? Because you can actually. No, it's sing. a karaoke bar. No, no, no. no. It's, it's fun time. But you're you're thinking I'm coming to this from a different angle. My 
triangle is anyone who can actually sing has no place doing karaoke. Like you I have to be I, bad at singing to participate. He's, I, I think he's comedically good at singing though. Like Hunter. Or I was going to say, I don't think that it's like people are like, oh my God, his voice. I just think that uh, I just, I mean, like every song that I choose, it's something to where I can distort my voice in a way where it becomes more about the performance and less about the mm -hmm. singing. I use yeah, the yeah. entire bar, especially if it's an open bar and there's no stage. You really got to walk the floor, which is what I love doing. I love walking the floor when I sing. You do sound like you would be funny to watch doing karaoke. <clears throat> yeah. Not enough energetic. for me to bother coming, but like, mm. don't can film it and I'll laugh at it. <laughs> what a fucking douche. You can't come out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, we're going. It's going to be really fun. No, I simply cannot. I simply I'll, can't. Uh, I'll go. I'll go drink with you, but I have no desire to hear you scream in my ear with a microphone any more than I have to on a daily basis anyway. The real well, the real sad. thing is any surplus of time we have is allocated to Xbox generally, which is like it's in the order true. of like singular hours a week, you know. So you're just not that important to him, Hunter. You gotta <laughs> well, choose you know. a story, Don, because another podcast you're like, Tom will do anything to be your friend. And now you're like, yeah, but no, no, Tom no, no, no. But like once, you. once he's here and signed into a lease, oh, you know, then I will just drop the whole accent entirely. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 dro you drop the act and the accent. You are actually just like a guy from Minnesota like, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Tom. Hunter, how you doing, Hunter? <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, oh, I'm Tom. I'm Tom. Hey, Hunter, how's it going, buddy? I'm not really British. Well, that's fine. Me and me and Don will fucking will will cruise the town singing karaoke. Yeah, man. Don's a Don's a real fucking hound dog. You <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. Are you gonna do karaoke with him, Don? Are you gonna sing? Oh, probably exactly. Not. That's my point. Probably not. I would go though. You would go. Yeah. If I went, I would sing. That's all mm. I'm saying. <laughs> that's the thing, though, is people are always like, ah, I don't. You get there, you, you and your buddies are having fun. The electricity's in the air. You gotta hop in. It's kind of like whenever you're like a you're like a kid that's like you know socially fucking stupid or something like that. And you go to a kid's birthday party and there's a bouncy house and you feel for some reason you don't feel worthy enough to go in the bouncy house. But then once you start jumping, boy, it's fun. Did you feel that way? I never felt that way. I cer I cer you know I certainly wouldn't like be thrilled to go do karaoke. I'm just not that kind of guy, but I don't remember ever being at a birthday party and be like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss this. You've never been to like a kid's birthday People party? People are going to think like I'm a dick if I'm <laughs> jumping up and down with them. I mean, maybe if like the kids in the thing are like the cool kids and I'm not the cool kid and they don't like me, I don't want to like just bounce by myself, you know? <laughs> In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have a fucking bouncing. No, looking at how I'm bouncing. I'm not bouncing just, right. Like, in the corner, I'm not bouncing the right. I'm not bouncing high enough or Don's confidently in, enough. Don's in fifth grade. All these kids are like four foot ten. He's like six foot two, just bouncing in this fucking bouncing house. Like, facing some... the corner. Dude, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't sprout until like uh, junior year or senior year of high school. I was like in the beginning of high school and the last better half of middle school I was like slightly chubby and short and I had that same like overlong Beatles haircut every little boy has and I had a squeaky little voice and you know how when you go through drive through they have like a camera so they can see you mm. th th this has stayed with me I think, I think I was a freshman in high school but I had my long hair and my soft little face and, and my squeaky voice Yes, they said, ma'am! <laughs> they called me ma'am, and I never forgot. And he wasn't even being mean. He was just, and that, that's what stung the most. It wasn't even an insult. Oh. It was a mistake. It would have been better if he was shaming you. At least you could have, like, beat <laughs> off to it later. Or something like that, that. <laughs> that dick. Did you say beat off to it later? Yeah, like a, I don't know, psychological thing. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, can't, we're, we're you can't run away from that statement that quickly, Hunter. We're learning a lot about Hunter today. The first, yeah, what? Is this, is this tied into the moon bounce thing, too? Like, you feeling yeah. insecure and then... I, I, and... I felt insecure at a kid's birthday party and I was angry and beat off in his bathroom. Well, this, <laughs> this is even going back to the porn thing, because I realized, listening back to that episode, we never even got to what you actually watch. I was like, okay, we know what you don't watch, but what do you watch? I thought and I said... Uh, thing you said it was your top. No, the very next thing you said was like, well, I've certainly felt guilty afterwards, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, <laughs> every that. angle I went at, you just, like, pivoted to how bad you feel about jerking off. So like, what is yeah. it? I'm All right, sorry. Well, hey, three, two, one, I'm gonna count down. Three, two, one, what was the last porn you watched? Describe it. Don't think about it. Go. I, I have to think not, about not it. Not you, like, Hunter. Oh, three, you're, two, you're giving him one, time. Go. No, you already had all this time. Say it now. Site. Oh shit! Wait, what? Oh, did I say? Wait! Ah, oh, darn it! That's a Freudian slip. Oops! 
I didn't mean to say that. No, just, I, I don't want to dwell on this because we already talked about porn last time. But just quickly, well, give us an overview. Just one or two. I can see him. He's kind of he's like slipping his fingers. He's a little his bit nervous. This gets fit, you a bit. Um, um, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I think that I I watch. I don't know, amateur. I, I like amateur stuff. You know. POV what? Yeah, POV what? You said that. Yeah, amateur POV what? <laughs> yeah, let's get yeah, it. Come on. Yeah, there was a there was a barn. Hidden, and maybe hidden, a, hidden a goat. bathroom footage, like you know, you all like that kind boy, of stuff. Uh, you <laughs> see some chick take a steamy shit. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, where's the sound? And I downvote the video because there's no sound. I'm like, if I don't hear fresh farts in that toilet bowl, I'm not coming. You ever fart into right. a toilet? You ever fart into a toilet bowl and just laugh because it's just so. <laughs> It's just no. so ugly. Yeah, did. I did that this morning. I was laughing pretty hard. I do like farting obnoxiously loud, just so everyone hears it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. To, I imagine them being like, "Oh my god, why is he, does he even know?" Yeah, I know. I, I, there's something funny to me about if you're taking a shit and you're sitting on a toilet and it's an empty toilet bowl and and you fart into it. It's just so <laughs> like the sound it emits. <laughs> it's so funny. That I'm in my bathroom and I'm just like giggling to myself like an actual child. I'm like, ah, ha, ha, ha. so that's uh, that, that's a little more about what I'm about when I take shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You, you seem to have a uh, something going on in your mind. <clears throat> I think it's it's my vanilla thing, but I have never been down with the uh, like outbursts of bodily functions. I think burps suck and farts suck. Burps are never bur burps are always unpleasant. But if somebody makes a funny fart, I can laugh. But usually I'm like, eh. No, because now you're smelling it. And I'm not into that's, people that's farting in my vicinity. particles from their asshole. Yeah, no, I think, like I think Tom means if he was like up on the second story of your house or exactly, something, and he, exactly. he looks down and he, and he <laughs> yeah. lets out a huge fart, that I would laugh really hard. But then if I was like in the same like, room know, and he farted I and I smelt that. it, I would yeah. I'd be disturbed. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, it's not about doing it in their vicinity. Okay. I do like belch Gosh. loudly though, but because I don't care, I'm not gonna swallow it for your precious feelings. <laughs> or there's, or there's a Tom that has the fucking uh, your hiccups, hiccups. or whatever. <laughs> God, that might be one of the most putrid, putrid <laughs> fucking like gut wrenching things I've ever heard in my life. Is Tom hiccuping? Big have, we have, we have we discussed this on a podcast yet? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what it sounded like. That was my approximation from my memory, but I can't. It was like because I well, was quite, I, right? li literally, I didn't have my camera on, so I was like listening when we were talking, and then he just stopped talking. <laughs> he did like I was like yeah, and we were having a, a regular conversation, and then I said something back, and he just stopped talking, and it was just like. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't even like that. You can sort of hear the human in that. It was sort of like a weird, like slice of a foghorn sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was, and, and I legitimately asked him. I was like, Kicking Yo, a fox. I was like, and I, I, at first I was kind of like just sitting there because I thought he was doing a bit or something. But then the fucking <laughs> kept going, and I was like, Are you okay? I was like, Are, it are, was, you, are you all right? It was all day, and I was working, and I had my sound canceling headphones on, so I only sort of heard it. it was really <laughs> no, that, I thought it, that makes. I it literally times thought worse. it was like a pipe in the wall. <laughs> that, it was. That, that, well, that makes, was like spasming. If you can barely hear it through your ear canceling headphones. It makes it that much worse because it's like in the distance. You're like listening to music, like I don't know, blast beats or something. And then you just hear like, <laughs> like in the, in the background. <laughs> I took my headphones off. I was like, "What? What is that? What the fuck is, the fuck that? is that? What the fuck is that?" <laughs> and then you know it wasn't so bad. And then you told me what it was. I was like, "Oh, okay." And I tried. And then to it back turned to your stomach. Yes, like knowing that. They <laughs> it's such a weird thing to turn someone's stomach. Yeah, like, I don't know oh, if it turned my hiccuping. stomach as much as it is. It just meant, it just disturbed me more than anything that a human hiccups like that. Uh, I don't it know was. It, it's putrid sounding, but you I do feel like have right. like a well. Don does have like a very strong response to like. Things. things, yeah, like just, just anything. Kind of, just kind of the same. We were, well, we were it used to be a real fucking, problem with movies. Yeah. Well, even still, we were watching the scary movie two intro uh, yesterday, oh, like man. with the with the Exorcist rip off or whatever, and oh. they're like <laughs> vomiting like green gunk on each other. And I just <laughs> yeah. I showed his Don. I just said Don go. My face. <sighs> Like, yeah. ugh, like, oh god! See, I just, I just like it. It's just it's anything. Al it's almost like I can taste it. Like it very viscerally is. Painted. How did, uh, how did you like Scary Movie too? Did it hold up? I, I love that movie. I think that's it's super the funny. scene. The scene was pretty funny. Like, there's. <laughs> No, I, I a love a bunch the, of casual pedophile jokes and stuff. It was pretty I love a, fuck, fuck me. <laughs> she yeah, fuck like, me, fuck me. She starts oh, like, they're doing like the tongue thing to each yeah. other. <laughs> the, uh, the, I, I love, I'm trying to think who it is. Dave, is it David Kroll? I can't remember. The guy who's the paraplegic, but he's just like so adamant about doing things himself. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I, I can do it myself. 
He has to like go up the fucking like stairs and he's like carrying the wheelchair with him. And he's like, ah, he like rolls down the <laughs> steps and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they, those Jesus. were like underrated. I mean, they weren't at the time, obviously, but I feel like some of it doesn't hold up. But like a couple, one and two, and the, even some of three, I enjoyed. They're pretty three. actually funny. Like they're, I enjoy, they're funny. I, I mean, there's, there's, there's I, artifacts I, from the era, though. There was like that shit, like the fart scene. humor stuff. Yeah, it's not, just, not it great, did not but. age well. Yeah, I but. think that uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's just like so like in the moment. But I still think the the third one, like anything with Charlie Sheen and all the, like the signs parody stuff, I love. I yeah. went back and rewatched that. The shovel when a fucking shotgun shell comes out of it. <laughs> With the watch one. They're like it's the sign. It's scary movie three, and they're like walking somewhere, and one of them's holding a shovel, and he like cocks it like a shotgun, and a shell like flies out of it. <laughs> that just always stuck with me for some reason. They were just they were cartoons as movies. Yeah, well, yeah. it's it, it's the same guys who did like Airplane and Naked Gun and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they they have that kind of that humor still. But one thing that always got me when I was a kid was the Charlie Sheen part of the third movie when the woman, like the sheriff, her hat gets, oh, gets gradually bigger, bigger as it cuts back to her. And she's like getting into her car and it's like a fucking sombrero going into the car. I don't know why that, that always got me. <clears throat> it's just so stupid. I don't feel like they make films like that anymore. Well, they I, need I mean, to. I think, I think that's they, like. Well, they drove those into the ground, and then those people went away. Remember, they kept making them. Yeah. Well, I think it. I think they like the Simpsons. I think they lost their like star writers, mm, and so okay. they were like they had the same. This is with like none of the cartoony. Yeah. I don't. I don't even think that it's shit. I don't even think it's the same people. I think it's just people are like trying to mimic what they do. So then you have like all the terrible movies like, meet not, the Spartans. Like, oh, yeah, meet the all Spartans. all that bullshit, and it's just like terrible. And it's just, yeah, it's just not, none of it's clever. It's all just, like, bullshit, so. Date, date movie was the only movie I've ever walked out of in my life. Date movie was terrible. Yeah, I don't blame yeah. you. I don't think I've ever walked out of a film. <clears throat> I, I walked out of uh, It Chapter 2. Wow. Oh, really? Really? Why is that? I mean, it I wasn't, just, it was not the I've first not seen one. it, but. It was kind of lame, but it was still worth it. It was kind of the, it, 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 it was the same like so problem. offensive that I would walk out. It was the same problem with, uh, well, one, I was very drunk, but two, the, uh, the, it, it was the same problem as like the nineties one of like the kids section is just so much more interesting than them being mm -hmm. adults and coming back. Like, I don't care <laughs> as much. Yeah. Um, not to say, I mean, I like Bill Hader's performance. I just like Bill Hader though, but it was just all just, it just felt like, so everything felt predictable. It just felt like kind of a rehash of everything. And I just remember being like super drunk and I was just like, I don't even want to watch this. So I just went back out to the bar in the theater and I let my mom and sister finish the movie. <laughs> I was like, and I just sat up there. <laughs> I was they, having a fun uh, talk with the w the bartender guy. He was good. I've not seen the first one or anything. Like, did they run a train on that girl? No. <laughs> everybody wants it. Oh, that didn't make it in, huh? Everyone wants it. Was that like everybody a critics it. No, were like, everybody, everybody well, always says I that, waited, they, they were like, there's a I real cutie sized hole in this movie. <laughs> Stephen King doing copious amounts of blow, and he's just like, then they all fucked her, and that's yeah, they how they become a ten year old girl. Yeah, done, weird, man. He's like, done. Yeah. Moving on to this next one. He's like, a killer diesel truck drives down the road. He's like, god damn, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he does like have a pace, right? Yeah, yeah I remember watching like, a, the, a, a, the, the eighties. Yeah. Well, I remember watching an interview with him and George R. R. Martin, and yeah. obviously yeah. he's slow as all fuck. And he was like, how do you do it? Oh, you're so fast! And whatever his name is, Stephen King. Stephen, Stephen King, King was just like, well, I I make sure I write four chapters every day. And well, uh, I think it was like a page a day, or a page a day. Yeah. Yeah, or four pages a day, something like and that. And George R. R. Martin was like, nope, there's just no way. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, a whole page? Wow. Are you fucking insane? <laughs> <laughs> what? And what Stephen King really meant was, you know, cocaine is something. So useful for a writer, George R. Can you imagine George R. Martin doing doing lines of blow while he's trying to while he's trying to write Game of Thrones? He's probably fucking rich enough now to do it off of some of the hot extras from the. Film, I don't even think. From the yeah, I don't, think, I don't even think it costs that much. It's just. Can you imagine him dressed up like a fucking hobbit? He walks in with that like that like newsy hat, and he's just like. He's listening like Fog Hat, like Slow Riders, <laughs> something like that. Just doing like a lot of blow. And he's just like Khaleesi. <laughs> like, he, starts, he starts typing. <laughs> Fucking typewriter. Are those books out yet? Is he done? No, no, they're never no. coming out. Done. I don't. I don't think he'll finish it before he dies. I think he's waiting for death. <laughs> he's waiting for death. Let yeah, someone else he, finish it. He's gonna be, be like, cool. I'm almost done. When he knows he's about to die, and then he's just gonna like slip it out. Mm. He's gonna fade away. You guys are a big. Uh, you guys are big. Christmas people, right? You like you like the festivities. 
Me and my girlfriend threw a Halloween party, and Tom and his wife showed up in Christmas sweaters. That's, that's a clever outfit. You go, like, it's a Halloween party, you go in your Christmas stuff. It's not like I had anything else. And mm. no, I'm not going to fucking put something together for some terrible party I don't want to go to. Man, you are literally Sorry. no fun. You're such a cunt. Yeah, I mean, given. You know, yeah. the, the idea... I don't the disagree. Idea, <laughs> this isn't I news mean, to me. You know you know what I'm going to do? If, if we ever are living by each other, I'm going to just blatantly... I'm just not even going to invite you to shit. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay. Why, why, why would I? Why, wh what what makes I you do? think I want to be invited? <clears throat> I don't know if this came up on the podcast yet, but uh, two years ago, my brother threw me a surprise birthday party at main event to play like laser tag and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my girlfriend took me and everyone was there. And I, everyone was there. And then Tom showed up. I was like, oh, no way. Tom came. <laughs> <laughs> like I was legitimately surprised. That was like, oh my god, best, Tom's here. Welcome, my buddy. best no best part of the surprise. Yeah, was it? <laughs> that's really that's really yeah, sweet. Well, I was I like, well, it. you know, I can see if you were asked, you would come, and if you were asked, you would come. And the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry, yeah. he, he left first though. He did leave first because it was his bedtime. That's right. He left at like 10 p.m. We got there at nine or something. Why do I have to give up all of the things I enjoy for the things you people enjoy? Why does that make me the cunt? I think I, I think it just shows that you just have like it's just all about you. It's never about anybody else. I went to the party. I fucking went. I went to the Jeez. Halloween party too. You put in your hour. I didn't want to do either you, you, of those yeah, things. You, I still you, did. Exa exactly. That's the thing is though. It's like it's like the bare minimum. It's like I'm here. <laughs> no. Therefore, the, <laughs> I could no, have not yeah. gone. How about that? You can say you win. How That's about this? How about worse. I'm like, hey guys, um, can you all go to bed at like fucking 8 p.m.? And you're like, no, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, fuck you, you piece of shit. Why don't you like doing fun things? <laughs> you have to see though that it's like people do make compromises in their lives for you. And, and it, I it, make it, compromises it, back. It's a fucking quid pro quo. I, I, I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying you don't. I'm not saying you don't. See, you okay. get very you get very on edge. Who who hurt you, Tom, as a child? Who I just who? I just like arguing, and part of like arguing is getting amped up and talking faster. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, good lord. All I'm saying is that, you know, it's not gonna hurt you to go out and be with your friends, hang out for a it while will, and be around Hunter. with them. It does. Well, it it fucking will. physically and mentally hurts me. You can cite the studies. <laughs> <laughs> I just pull out my peer review journals. I'm like, actually, <laughs> I know, seriously, like, I, I find being, like, if I have to go to some party, I fucking, de I detest being there. So, in a sense, it does, like, hurt me mentally. <laughs> that is, therefore, it hurts. Hey, if, how about this? How about this, That's Hunter? the same thing. You, you have complained, like, constantly during this fucking pandemic that you've got no one to hang out with. You can't see people and you find it really fucking depressing. How yeah. is that any different from me? Like, being around people depresses me, not being around people depresses you. But yours is, like, cool and normal, and mine's fucking <coughs> weird. I don't think that it's even that. I think that I'm saying more along the lines of it's your friend's birthday. And I went. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I stayed. <laughs> That's the record show. I stayed That's for extra games, show. too. He was like, oh, you can't go yet. you got to stay for a few more games. And I did. Yeah, you did. Yep. So hey, what, what do is. I need to do? Yeah, what do I need to there do, boys? Do I need to there fucking blow both of you? Mm. Just two at the same. Rah, 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 I, is I, that I, what you I, want from I, me? I, 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 I think the biggest thing <laughs> is, you know, maybe I, I, I mean, it's whatever. This conversation's going nowhere. It's the I'm Tom fine. show. I'm having we the time it. of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about it. me. Don, I, Don, you know, if I was at main event, I'd, I, I, I would, I would hang out because you're my friend. It's your birthday, and I would be there. You would hang out because it like fits in with what you already love doing. This is just. I would hang out. I would hang out because it's his party and he invited me. Uh -huh. And it's about him. It's not about me, it's about him. Oh, yeah, no, Am I wrong? Right. Yeah, I, th th I think Hunter would have been one of the last people there. Yeah, I but he that. loves that shit. That is true. That is a fair counterpoint. Let's, let's just fucking say Hunter, we're never allowed to meet ever. Yeah, but like at the same time, it's like you could say that about like your relationship stuff. Like if my wife wants to go to like a fucking rodeo, I don't want to really go to a rodeo. I've done that shit when I was a kid, I don't really want to go, but... I'll go because I know that it's a thing that she likes doing, and it's a it's a selfless thing. I like wanting I go on hikes. to make her happy. I go on hikes with my wife. I I'm not saying you're, you don't go on hikes with your wife. I'm, I'm saying, saying I do I these I'm things you say. So like, it just doesn't make any sense as an argument. Well, I think the whole deal is that even if it's going on a hike, you're still just like, well, I mean, even though this is fucking gay and she's retarded, I at least will be able to stimulate my mind and be able to physically work out. So in the end, it still benefits me. It's like, as long as it benefits you, you're happy to do stuff, but it's never the like... D. One, the only difference the is D conscious acknowledgement versus subconscious unacknowledgement. Right, right. Okay, so 
so, someone that agrees to go on the hike is subconsciously saying, well, this would be good for me too, so I guess I'll do it. Yeah. But they, they're, they're not like... <laughs> they're not actualizing and verbalizing Consciously articulating it. that, yeah, yeah. That's the only difference. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not... I mean, it's what I, I mean, it's whatever. I don't give a fuck what you do. I'm just, I'm just saying. Sometimes it's nice to just be a part of something that you may not even enjoy. And you I'm might on the find, fucking podcast, you know, might, aren't I, boys? That, 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 that's how. That's how you make. <laughs> that's how you make. That's how you make memories and stories. You enjoy this. You yeah, enjoy it was. Just, it was just a funny. It was a goof. And painting slander about me. That's a, we're just playing silly games, right, fellas? <laughs> silly games. And you accuse right? you accuse sticks. me of making things about me. Uh -huh. Oh, I just did. <laughs> you know, I was going to surprise these boys. And I was going to come out to Austin. I was going to fly out and meet Don's brother. And I was going to drive from Dallas to Austin. I was going to stand out in their front yard. And I was going to be like, you have to hang out with me. Oh, them. yeah. Let, who who scuppered that plan? Who scuppered that? I mean, technically, did, I did. Because I feel like I would be like, I feel like I would go there. And then both of you guys would just be like, hey. Hey, it's so cool meeting you. And you just shut the door. And you're like, uh, Justin, yeah, oh, Justin, do you want to go buy McDonald's or something and drive back to My Dallas? point is, is Justin said one of us would be like way against it. And it wasn't me crashing that party. <clears throat> Another point in my defense. Well, I mean, I, you might as well just say his name if, if, if you're is, like, this, it's one, one of two. This <laughs> is life and death. This isn't. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> If, if, if it was the same thing with with Tom, it, he did have a problem. Like, go do something. We have to go to a restaurant. Oh, what like, with Hunter? Leave the house. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, right. when, when, I, can't, when, I, when I, can't, I went out there? I can't play. I can't just play Xbox. I have to play split screen Xbox. Uh, I wouldn't even bother. Bummer. I, de I definitely wouldn't compromise on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, ta I'm talking about the scenario if there was no pandemic. And, like, I'm, you know, I'm being, like, tarred and feathered because I don't want to, you know. Die. Well, I was gonna show up in a hazmat suit. I was gonna legitimately that would, buy that a hazmat suit. Dude, that would have been fucking that hilarious. Actually, and if we just hung out all day and you did not take it off, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at some point I'd be like, "All right, guys, come on, like, right?" Like, <laughs> like, like, no, no, like, no, no, no. Hunter, no. you take that off. You're going home. <laughs> I would take it off when I'm ready to leave. Then, yeah. Well, all right. Well, I'm ready to go. And, uh, take it off. And, like, just walk out of the house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think you should have done it. I think it would have been funny. <clears throat> Yeah, you know. Even oh, you agree. Nice... I think I would have because now he's gonna do it. I would have been socially pressured to just accept it and hope I didn't die. That's probably what would have happened. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm gonna walk up right up to you. And I'm gonna be like, "Hey, da... call!" <laughs> just gonna call right in your face. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, dude, sorry. I'm not sick though. Don't Oopsie. worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, dude. Why do you want to come like hang out with us so bad anyway? I, I mean, well, I mean, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I, I like you guys, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm also trying to understand, like, the, also, the, I was going to use that time. For, I was going like, to what? use that time to actually be around that area and get a lay of the land and stuff was another thing. Mm. I think that uh, just getting an overall to see if you actually want to move here or not. Yeah, that and even just how are you guys in person? Do I hate I've it? Because then I've I'm gotten, like, all right, good. Then like, I think an arm's distance works best or something like that. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I got a nickname for you. You ready? Mm. Flip Flop Hancock came up with that. Ew, Flip Flop Hancock. Flip Flop Hancock's at it again. Flip is he Hancock. coming? Is he not? Mm. Who knows? It's Flip Flop Hancock. No? I thought that was worth more than <laughs> <laughs> deafening silence. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just thinking I had an animator who also listens to the podcast and say, oh, so it's like Hunter moving to Austin and I, and I, without prompting or talking to you about this, I also called you a flip-flopper. I, th I think the word I used was a fucking flip-flopper. Is that right? Hunter's a fucking flip-flopper. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's I think, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think I've been trying to just be transparent on where my mind is laying, but regardless. Your yes, mind changes like, so like, often, seven though. Months. It just like... You're like certain about something, well, but then you're very certain about the opposite thing. Uh, yeah, well, you know. yeah, that's the that's the way it is, boys. I'll tell you something else. Uh, I'm gonna reiterate. First off, first off for, for, for you to for you to well. for you to talk about me to anybody and uh, call me a flip flop, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Can you imagine a guy in that <laughs> No, the uh, I I think that I've just been trying to be transparent about uh, you know if I'm like ah, it, it sounds good, and then you get overhyped about doing something, and then kind of you're like ah, well, I don't know, like. <laughs> I think that the the Austin trip was a legitimate reason, though, to like go around and be like, 
oh, this isn't as bad as I thought, or being like, this is terrible. I'm, <laughs> glad, I'm glad we came out. You know what I mean? It's nice I to... Think- uh, yeah, to, to ask your question, Don, what did I expect the answer to be? I mean, we just had a conversation where we, like, berated <clears throat> each other oh, right, for being right, right. unlikable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. I, it's like, so, why would you even so want to be like, here? So it's like, why do you like us? Right. Almost, like, right. yeah, if, if it's okay. that bad, like, why would you even want to come, like, <laughs> live near you guys us? Are such, you, you guys are such little fucking bitches, I swear to God. You can't... You, <laughs> the you, you irony take, is when, 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 some, when, somebody, when somebody says these things, you have to... It's, we're guys, we, we we talk about stuff, right? Yeah, All this shit. I'm, that was a silly you, burn you, you, too. We're guys. It's banter. You, we we sit there and you me feel you, bad. Why, why not? You're you're my boys, right? Right. Yeah. Tom, Tom, you're a fucking social recluse. It doesn't matter who gives a fuck. You're my boy. <laughs> Don is afraid of everything under the sun. The black plague is coming, but he's my boy. <laughs> That's idea. I have asthma. <laughs> I'll have you know, sir. <laughs> It's asthma! Fucking asthma! Take it seriously! <laughs> That's, yeah, it's a real it's a real comorbidity. <laughs> it is. It's almost like having diabetes or being is. horrifically overweight. But where where it isn't is all the articles say uh like moderate to severe and mine is like beyond mild. But yours is like barely existent. Like, like kind of forgot. I don't know when you ever took the inhaler last. Yeah, yeah. Regardless, I, I understand know. it's a serious situation. I understand your concerns. It's just uh what it no, is, is that I, you read an article of, like, a perfectly healthy person, and I know it's, like, very No, I understand. Rare, they're, they're, I, I, like, I, consider, I consider my own medical history, and I think, like, yeah, that would be me. I would be the one that's, like, healthy and seems like they'd be fine and get it and just, like, fucking die. Like that, Don does have a very poor constitution. <clears throat> yeah. He is specced entirely for drawing, and everything uh, else didn't get any points. I had, I grew up with scoliosis and kyphosis. <laughs> I got both of them. <laughs> Both of them, and uh, <laughs> I had to get I had to get spinal corrective surgery. So I've got like a giant scar going down my back, and my dad. You're a real Frankenstein. Well, aren't my dad, my dad felt really bad about it, and I think he felt bad because it was like, you know, well, I would hope. Well, his his genetics <laughs> did not like overcome where, wherever that came from, and like I'm saddled with this. So he was like, well, you know, and he's never been like a tattoo guy, but he was like really encouraging me to like cover it up with a tattoo. Oh, you know, dude, don't. Yeah, should, keep the scar, dude. Well, yeah, yeah, that I mean, looks sick. That, that is yeah. what I've chosen, but I used to joke about I could cover it up with a list of all my ailments that I've caught <laughs> over the years. <laughs> all, my, all, my, all my genetic and all my... Uh, if Only if it was caught. in, like, very, very old, like, old, yeah, yeah, like, it, exactly, scripture exactly. font or whatever, where it's like... But they, they would also be like crossed scoliosis. off. It's scoliosis. They would be crossed yeah. off, and then the last two entries were going to be, like, dick cancer and death. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, like and that. then they could tattoo off. They could tattoo off the death one, and then my open casket would be like face down, so people could like look at the list and appreciate. And then it. I'm like, and then in Monster Energy font on your chest, it could say "Do not resuscitate." <laughs> <laughs> what old like do you have? Uh, so scoliosis, kyphosis. I had bronchitis. I caught swine flu when that was a thing. I have asthma, um, bone spurs, flat feet. Hammer toe. Uh, yeah, I have one hammer toe. Yep, one of my toes is a hammer toe because I grew too fast. My it shoes sounds way small. cooler than it is, folks. Um, what does that even mean? What the fuck is a hammer this toe? This toe instead of being flat is, just, is like it's sideways. Just, it's just kind of fucked up. You, 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 oh, probably, fuck. probably don't Google it. Mine isn't that you awful. You can cling but to a tree branch like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer toe! Hammer toe! Stop, it's hammer time! <laughs> He's like upside down. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you know, I understand the concern for sure. I, I would say, it, if, I did, if I did this, if I got myself tested, and I literally, fl- I, I wore a, a hazmat suit, Two there, I, f- I flew with a hazmat suit you're on. I think you're a terrorist, dude. No, I, th- in the middle of a pandemic, if there, if somebody was like, "What are you doing?" I'd be like, "Hi, hazmat suit." That's what I would say. And they're like, "Oh, fair point." And j- else, it's not like I'm like <clears throat> fucking walking around with like an RPG or like machine guns or some shit in my hazmat suit. I think someone in a hazmat suit would arouse suspicion, even in like, COVID time. Like, ooh, what's going on? Or like a, All right, if I had if I if I had layers of layers of clothing on and gloves. If huh? you wrapped yourself in cellophane, maybe. <laughs> well, I don't know what the fuck that is. I mean, but plastic wrap. I would uh I would I'd, I'd wear layers and gloves and I have my mask and all that jazz. I would take all the necessary precautions. Drive. It's I would true. not drive. What a you fucking waste. What a waste it. of time. You said you love Ooh. road trips. You've said yeah. that before. You, yeah, I you, do. You drove from like Missouri to Portland, didn't you? But, you hey, know, that was uh, that was also that was also me moving. 
So mm-hmm. there's another. <laughs> How long does it take for COVID to present? Uh, up to 10 days. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Well, you fly here. 10 days. Get the test. Then we'll see you. <laughs> Stay in a hotel for yeah, 10 days. Have, have you look if around anything, on your own if time? If anything, you know, you know what I might do? I might just hang with uh, Justin and look around Austin then. Okay, well, kind of, that could be kind of fun too. He lives in Dallas. He was in Denton. Yeah, but he told me he, uh, that was the reason. I was going to fly to Dallas and then we were going to drive out here uh, out okay. to Austin. But yeah, just hang out with Justin and he can be a representation of what me and Don are like. <laughs> he's, not, he's not even a fair representation. Like, oh, obviously, he's not <laughs> a fair representation. Justin is way more fun like in every way <laughs> than both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, when you're listening to this, man, I'm coming out, bro. End of the year. We're doing it. There's a vaccine We're gonna, like, coming next year. Yeah, I'm hoping I can like show up with my little mild asthma ticket and snag one of those. No one, no doctor <laughs> is going to take you fucking seriously. They're going to be like, what? I have asthma! They're like, I've got asthma! <laughs> They're like, what? How, well, is it bad? You're show like, us. no, it's very mild. It's, yeah, it's, like, it's fuck it's off, mild. dude. Yeah, How much of this do you think is hypochondria? Dude, none of it. A lot. Not a, not a bit. Well, obviously, I guess probably you would say none of it, but I wonder how much of it is hypochondria. Have you? I like, literally have these problems. Okay, but I'm, also, not, I'm, not saying time... you, I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying that I think that you are susceptible no, to being like, if anything, you are happens. susceptible. That Every is, time you read news true. about COVID, you think your heart is exploding. And that was at the beginning of the year. But yeah. it kind of well because paints of the, the, picture the beginning of, your mental of the state. year, like no, like, <laughs> does it I was, not? I was thinking the other day how absurd this was, but I remember like right when. It was really starting to pop off, but uh-huh. before it had really, like, realistically touched Texas. Right. We were out, like, getting fast food for probably, like, the last time for a long, long time. We were at, like, Torchies or something. Oh, you and, and you go. Dude, and I was, like, looking around, like, hugging my, my hugging myself, like, arms tucked in, like, <laughs> oh, God. Like, <laughs> snapping, all these people, like, they're getting close to me. They're, like, touching everything. Like, it felt like... I don't, I don't know. It felt like the world was ending, and I was the only well. Hey, in your knew. defense, it was way less like knowing about. Well, nobody knew like how bad it was. it was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it, it doesn't feel too. I mean, it maybe was, but, but it de- definitely because because that was like that was like movie scenario expectation for this virus. So, like all these idiots that are just going to. I mean, dead. and that is what happened. It just happened slower than what yeah. you were thinking. Yeah, yeah. So, so I don't know. Hundred percent hypochondria. Con- though. I will concede that that was silly, and then um. <laughs> I have like a reflux thing, right? That I did not know about, and it. Oh, so there's another one for the list. We're, You're we're, like a monster we're like, from we're fucking like monster eight, labs. We're, we're at like eight or nine now. So the, the, the this is silent reflux or acid reflux or whatever, and I didn't know I had it like in this way, and it was the first time it ever presented as this. But it presented as like like chest pain and like this really weird chest pain that is around where I imagined the bottom of my lungs would be. So I was like, oh God, my, my fucking lungs are dying. They're collapsing. This is COVID. And it, cause I'd never felt this before and it like actually really hurt. And I was like lying in bed and I told, my, <laughs> I told my girlfriend, I was like, I think I have it. I think this is it. <laughs> and it I, I think it's, think it's going to be severe. I really, I really, really <laughs> believed it. <laughs> she got really upset. I mean, naturally, because this is like at the beginning of the thing. And yeah, I'm like feeling something I've never felt before. And um, it turned out that that was actually like a more severe symptom of the um, reflux, which is brought on by stress. And the stress was caused by reading all the COVID and news. thinking I had fucking COVID. <laughs> so it was like this self perpetuating cycle. And then Hunter's like, how much of it do you think was hypochondria? And you're like, 0%. Well, not a bit. It's not I, fair, I definitely, it's I not definitely, fair. I definitely know that you. Because I've got this, I've got this thing that this, this thing that's like, a, like a built-in enabler of my hypochondria know. that makes me feel, literally feel that I have now. the thing. No, I'm not making fun. I am not making fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you have your ailments and shit. But what I'm saying is that if somebody takes the necessary precaution of doing all this shit and you be safe and all that stuff, what are we doing? In, can, can, can we can yeah, we not can in, we not can we not lay the bridge down then? In if Don's the, defense, the, like flying is already not taking a, a necessary precaution. Like the, the scenario in of itself strikes it from being. <clears throat> well, like, I have safe. I have been keeping my. I mean, it, it's like a very biased study that was conducted by like a specific airline in the government, an who, airline who are study. trying to like resuscitate the fucking like airline industry, and they're like, it doesn't happen, guys. Mm-hmm. It is not a thing. It's not a thing. It's the safest. United Airlines travel. says it is not a thing. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what it was. But it was an interesting study. They they had like a like a um 
like a dummy that was like doing simulating coughing and then they somehow like tracked the particle but i i don't know like it, it hasn't been peer reviewed or anything so maybe it's right maybe f- people from the pilot camp that are like yeah we've got the best filter ever on the planes aren't what about full before of shit. the fucking plane well what about the security well, yeah, line yeah, yeah, in the airport and, stuff. and the airport and right. the like security the line they don't people. even they, i don't think they do the security line i think that you have to do like They're just a, like come on in <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Tom, you fucking idiot. They sit there and they probably, <laughs> they probably call people up and have them stand in six foot intervals, all the other bullshit you have to do. And I think they, they, there's probably, there's definitely a way where they're just like, I feel like y- y- you guys look at it as if it's just like this fucking hog pen of pe- like that people well, I mean, aren't it taking was, the necessary precautions. It was at the beginning of the year. It, it, well, I'm, I'm saying it is, but I'm like, I don't think it is now. I think that we're at a time when, especially like airplanes, those regulations and stuff have been better. I think that even like a lot of airplanes are doing stuff where like it's inter- like the people don't even sit by each other. They don't pack the planes. I know some airlines do it, but hmm. uh, I wouldn't. Sh- I think like Delta, Allison had to fly to Delta or Delta to Tennessee to see her father. And uh, she said that she had a whole row to herself and it was like spaced in between or whatever. So. Well, I'm fucking confident I could alpha COVID virus, so you come on over, buddy. You just got to convince Don. <clears throat> I, I hope you don't. <clears throat> you know, don't, and even if it was... I hope you die, but I hope that I'm the asymptomatic one, somehow. I know it's unlikely, but somehow. I'm, yeah, I'm, the, the, one, I'm the one that it misses, and you, like, land in the hospital, and it's, like, horrible, and then you're fine, of course. Well, then my lungs are scarred for life, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still, you could that's say that's the other <laughs> fucked up thing is pe- even if you like if you're like most people when you get the mild thing now they're saying I think it's like 30% of people that get the mild one are saddled with some long term shit like they can't breathe they're or they can't fucking work smell anymore. yeah or taste 30% of mild cases and then I, I guess they don't know what the proportion of asymptomatic people is but yeah, yeah like even if you think you can survive it you don't want to catch it because there's a one in three chance you're going to be I want to wrestle with, with it dude I want to fucking, I want to show that COVID that they ain't doing nothing I like to that. me. That's, I, I like that mindset. I want to show I fucking China nowhere. a thing or two. You can't get me with your lab virus, you fucks. The China virus. I don't actually believe it's made in a lab, but it could be. The, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, a, just food for thought. Food for thought. Were you guys allowed to watch, like, I know you were, Tom, because they don't have any ethics in England. But what about you? <laughs> when, when was the first time you were allowed to watch, like, a, like a, R-rated for sexual reasons movie as a kid. R-rated for sexual reasons. Like, yeah. So, well, at least at least in my house, like, we were allowed to watch, like, violent R-rated stuff, but if it was... True American house. If it was R-rated because there were tits out, then that was, like... An, what if the child took, sees nipples? Took exception, yeah. I'll never yeah get I, think I, watched, I, I think I watched Wild Things when I was, like, six, which is, uh, like, the very okay. infamous 90s movie with, it's, like, the three-way lesbian sex scene type deal with... Right. Uh, Nev up. Campbell and Matt Oh wait, Dillon. that was in that stupid the Netflix pen, show you made me pen watch. F- pen 15, yeah. They t- yeah, about it. I watched yeah. that when I was young. What was about awesome. you, Don? How old are you? I can't, I'm trying to remember, but I do I do definitely remember not being able to watch um, Porky's, which just looked awesome. There was a little, <laughs> yeah. there was my dad's VHS, and I was not allowed oh, yeah. to watch it. And it was the, just the, a the picture people. of like the people, a, a guy and with the his, leg. And I, I would read the back, and I was like, Dad, I want to watch this. <laughs> and I just was not allowed. Yeah. I remember I, 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 I watched that when I watched that, and I was like, not like a little older, but like, I don't know, like maybe 10 or something like that. And I used to laugh so hard when the guy got his dick like yanked through the hole or whatever, and they were like, I don't know. I can't remember when that transition was to just being allowed to watch stuff like that. But I do, there was like a marker in my childhood of where like my dad let me watch heavy metal finally. Mm. So like the, 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 like, uh, like intense boobage episode or whatever came out on South Park. And that's how I found out about the movie. And it was like, that looks amazing. I just really miss the sense of wonderment and like that kind of feeling you got for things as a kid. Like, um, the discovery. Just like, yeah, like seeing a like a big juicy pair of tits as a little boy. Yeah, it's yeah. just a whole different experience now. You still love it now because it's a big pair of tits, but as a boy, <laughs> it's like this fucking sense of wonderment, and you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> but but obviously, as you get older, like the the fantasy of life gets drained out bit by bit, and I just really miss all of that. Well, looking back, it's it's kind of a strange memory. But yeah, it was like finally I get to watch heavy metal. There's gonna be cool drawings and swords and giant tits out and stuff. And it was like an event that I was gonna have with my dad and like my brother weird. and sister were. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird, right? But we, but we like we went. Okay, we, I remember we went out for dinner and we picked <laughs> up like now. 
like take out Baja <laughs> Fresh and then went back and we just watched fucking heavy metal. You're gonna see and some things yeah, in it was, this. It was just me and him. <laughs> hey boy. Hey, hey boy, boy, you're gonna see some things in this. You're gonna make you ask some questions <laughs> if everything's right with you. I don't want you to be afraid. <laughs> you just see a big fucking pair of cartoon titties. I remember the girl in um, American Beauty, like, with her baps out, uh, and just, uh, there's something special about them. I can't even remember, but she's like, be gentle. And you, uh, as a kid, I was just like, Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, God. Yeah, now life is a dark, mm. depressing void. It's weird watching that movie now, knowing that Kevin Spacey was gay as fuck. You just appreciate the man's acting to a whole new level. Well, I mean, but he... he okay, kinda, okay, he okay see, first off, okay... <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Time out. Just, just call for your boyfriend already. Yeah, that's right. Good lord. First off, it isn't that he's gay. It's that he's a fucking rapist. I believe the words no, were well, gay. No, 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 there, there was that too. It's kind of odd watching that movie knowing that fucking Kevin Spacey likes cock. It's like, that's not the reason that's it odd. Is, it is weird now. because he's like fawning over those so. chicks. Or well, yeah, that chick. Yeah. That's the five <laughs> no, it, sh it, sh it should be weird because he's, he's hounding after a high school girl he and he like raped any women. women. Hey, okay, yeah, he never raped any women. And when it's a guy, <laughs> when it's a guy, when it's a guy, response. <laughs> it doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's just funny. Okay, okay I'm not with you oh now, Dom. Yep, this I'm is so back from fucking this well. wrong. <laughs> this is this is all. I was with you, Don, but you jumped off the cliff and I can't follow. This is this is so fucked up. Justin, please do something. To fucking edit this fucking terrible, what a terrible take! What the fuck are you even talking about, Don? Uh, it's just odd. He likes, you know, come on. It's like he didn't even rape him. He's just like, come uh, yeah, on, it's no big deal. You know what? I don't even think he should be in trouble. I don't think. He should. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think I don't think he should it go to jail. Worse. It's just that's just part of being a man. Sometimes you get raped. Oh no! You don't uh, you know, it. it ain't just Sparta. You certainly it's don't kill of, yourself it's, like it's all his part victims of being did. A man. God, Don, what is happening right now? <laughs> what are, I've what, never what seen this, this side this of you. Okay, some things were said uh, that maybe people didn't mean, or well, they came across a certain way. I meant them. I meant all those things. Oh, God damn it, Don. <laughs> 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 it's always odd having to watch... I do, uh, I do it's think, always... um, didn't all of his victims, they've all, like, killed themselves or something? This is what we want to talk up. about. Do we want to yeah. talk Some about very... Kevin Spacey's well, let's, let's dead get... No, I'm, I'm, pull, I'm doing the hunter. We're getting somber and real for a second, and, and it makes everything that was said before It makes it okay. all okay. Exactly. Like, yeah, but it actually is really fucked up when people are racist, isn't it, guys? <laughs> How many times have you done that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on to you, pal. All right. You know, sorry so, that I have to keep things in check. So, so, so anyways, Kevin Spacey... Yeah who at that time, unbeknownst to anyone, was very gay. It's it's just amusing to, to watch him <laughs> chase this high school girl. What were we going to say, Tom? I was just going to ask you what, I think it's Stormfront? I don't know what Stormfront that website, is. That website you visit? I don't know what Stormfront is. I don't, I've never heard, what is that? You've never heard of, I swear I've seen, this like on your homepage all the time. I don't, I don't know what that is. Ah, that's that weird. Is, How, I walk in the office and it's on like four screens at once. <sighs> and there's this like clip of Edward Norton, I think, like Edward in a Norton. film. I don't know. It's weird, dude. So I don't know. Talking about American either. History X is the part where he makes the Oh, maybe that's what Don watches what, what every day what, what movie on his lunch break. About? What are you talking about? American I'm, History X. I'm completely lost. <laughs> You're like, what happening. movie is that? You like go in his room and there's like four <laughs> different Tom, posters. Tom's, <laughs> Tom's what? what is this? He's talking about like weather websites and yeah, and, uh, and Hulk, yeah, it's the, the Incredible it's the, Hulk. It's the boys tactic. Speaking of the Incredible Hulk, did you guys ever see the 2001 <laughs> Hulk movie? Yes. Yeah. Terrible. I, I even as a kid, I remember being disappointed by it. <clears throat> I remember, yeah, I remember just being like, what the fuck is this? Dude, it I was, was so a fucking weird. idiot as a kid. I did. Is it goes. I think it goes back to the whole vanilla thing, like wanting the bad guys to lose. I also thought that Hulk was awesome. I didn't accept that it was a dumb movie. I really liked the action with Hulk. I thought he was like awesome. How huge! Didn't he was. it take like sixty minutes to see him? I can't remember. At that point, I, I yeah, think, I that's wasn't true. It was it was pretty boring as a movie. It was pretty boring. Oh, dude, it was I, super boring. I remember thinking it was, but when Hulk also, finally came the, the, out, the, it was awesome. the design. The when he was like running through so the desert bad. and started jumping, and then he like starts jumping over mountains and stuff, I thought rips, all I remember is he rips a tire off a tank. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I just remember how disgustingly green he is in a way that it, like, which I mean, I know that he's green in general, but it's just like oh, it wow. was so. It, he was so vibrantly green, dude. He looks Slavic. <laughs> <laughs> like, what should this guy look like? He they should look like a Polish football hooligan. 
<clears throat> you know what, what, what? You know what movie I did like when I was younger yeah. was the Edward Norton Incredible Hulk. I definitely like feel like he should have been. That was a fun. He should have stayed as the Hulk. Isn't that what we're talking about? That was the same. Movie. No, the, I'm talking yeah. about the Eric Bana one. Talking about the yeah. like older, older one. Oh, I thought he said Edward, Eric Bana, 2003 Edward, Hulk. You just said the Edward but then Lord he said no. But then he said before no, that, like, have you seen the have you seen the original like 2001 Hulk, which is not Edward Norton? No, it was a 2001 movie. Was that early before? Or it's like 2003. Yeah, there was one with Eric Bana as the Hulk. And you he don't remember like, that? What? I don't think I saw that. Look at it. Like, look at this. Here, I'm posting another screenshot of this. It's just like. Eric, it, 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 well, what it, was it, the it, movie it's, called? It was just The Incredible Hulk, and then they just... I think it's just called Hulk. Dude, the graphics look the same as, like, The Bug's Life. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, 2003, but still, I mean, his face is like, my god. Edward Norton Hulk, though, I thought looked sick. Looks and like I like the, uh, the fights in it. I don't remember this at all. Man, well, you were spared. The Edward Norton Hulk was kind of shit, too, but at least um, Edward Norton made it. I thought that was what we were talking about. I like Tim Roth in it. I like Tim Roth in it. That yeah, was cool. Tim, Tim Roth was sick. I, I think that, like, has, to be, like, a stupid, dumb Hulk movie, I thought it was fun. Like, it's not, like, it's not going to be something that's, like, oh, my God, it was just, like, the story. But it was just, like, I thought, like, it, it was, like, what I wanted out of a Hulk movie that I guess Who's I didn't get. Who's that doofy-looking retard that plays him now? <clears throat> Mark, uh, Mark Ruffalo. What What's a shit face? fucking casting yeah, choice. Terrible. I God. wish I wish they Mark just Mark Ruffalo, that's who it is. He's Mark so Ruffalo. fucking why like they just, soft and why squidgy they just bring and back lame. Edward Norton. That's kind of like what Bruce Edward Banner is, like super hard is supposed to, work to be, right? With, apparently, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Bruce Banner is supposed to be kind of like a you know soft scientist dude, and then he transforms. Yeah, but he's supposed like to have a personality, I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Mark yeah, Mark know. Ruffalo, whatever the fuck, it sounds like a chocolate. He's it just looks like a just a weird, squidgy, horrible mess, and I, I'm not. I don't like it. He's he's kind of like weirdly plain in like a not play. It's hard to describe. He looks like he's made of play doh. Yeah, I kind of like that out of for a Hulk though. Edward Norton's like very <laughs> I, sexy. I want my and Hulk sleek. to look like play doh. I want I want my I want my Bruce Banner to look like uh, kind of plainish, like a I like liked, a scientist dude. I liked how, but Edward Norton he's kind of like short and he's like small. He's like he, he's just he's just kind of like, like a, wiry. Yeah, he's like weedy. He's very he's like he's, a weedy he, guy. So it was cool when he turns into like a, he, a giant. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I always thought Edward Norton has like a level of like, uh, I feel like he would, he always, he, I think he always plays a good villain. Whenever they cast him as a good villain, I always think he has the kind of that look of like a yeah, malicious I love, kind I love of him guy. in the Italian job, man. Yeah, they're just like, getting these fucking Mini Coopers. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, we gotta rob us some banks, Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg's just like, I hope there's no Vietnamese people on the way or I'm gonna have a few things to say about that. Is it, is, is he even fucking in that film? He's in the, yeah, the Italian the job? Hell yeah, oh, he's the main it? character. Wow, I forgot. All I remember is uh, Seth Green, and that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I oh, actually yes. forgot about <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seth. Is he like Seth the, the tech guy and, or something? Uh, Jason oh, Statham. Oh, Jason Statham's in it. Yeah. I guess they had to have that like token British guy to give it authenticity. <laughs> yeah, and he's like fucking Yeah, to get the, the British people on board. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course he is. I d honestly, I never understood his like sexual appeal to women. He's got the like Jason sexy Statham? voice, and he's like competent looking, but he... he even though he's bald, you can see his hairline. He was white guy Jackie is, Chan. He was white guy Jackie Chan. Well, Jackie Chan was hardly a sex symbol, Don. I don't <laughs> well, know if that, like, is a good counterexample. Have you ever watched, like, there's, like, some old Jackie Chan movies when he was young, though, where it's kind of funny, like, they sort of tried to make him a sex symbol for a minute. Yeah, he's, like, wearing, his, like, again, his face just is pretty, never going to work, is it? built looking, you know? One of my, uh, Big fucking goofy Mario <laughs> hair. I remember, <laughs> I, the first movie that I ever saw that wasn't, like, Rush Hour with Jackie Chan in it and stuff was, like, one of the, his old karate movies back in, like, I want to say the 80s or something, but he, it's just, like, Drunken Foo or whatever, so <laughs> oh, he just, like... Oh, yeah. yeah. it was a good movie. And that movie was sick. Yeah. I, I, I love that movie. I haven't seen it in a long time. He was really, like, a fucking cultural phenomenon for a, for a minute there, wasn't he? I think he's, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Jason Statham's like, oh, he, wow, it's a white guy, and he also does all his own stunts and can fight and stuff, you know? I think Jackie Chan has a level level of charisma, though, that's like, I don't think that yeah, he's yeah. like, I think you you know that he can beat the shit out of you, but it's like, at the same time, he's kind of you want to hug him. Fun. Yeah, he's yeah. got like a real Goku vibe. He's just like, Jason, he's Sta like, <clears throat> Jason Statham just feels like, oh, he's going to kick my ass, and then like, do I want to suck his dick afterwards or something <laughs> like that? It's like, he's like a bad boy type deal. He might make you suck his dick afterwards. Yeah, actually, you know what? <laughs> Suck my fucking dick. You're like, oh my god, yeah. I, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> oh my god, thank god the transporter wants me to suck his dick. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. that was a good film. Yeah, it's fun. The, I remember the second one. I really there was like some highway scene. I can't remember. I wanted to rewatch uh, the Matrix. I've I, it's been forever I, since I've seen the the first Matrix too. movie. I think yeah. it will hold up. Is my intuition? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I think that well. 
that's the movie that fucking defined like every action movie for the like the next 10 years type deal. Mm -hmm. Like nobody knew that dusters were cool until the Matrix came out and everyone's just like, we need long Pretty black sure coats. The Germans knew dusters were cool before Matrix. Oh, okay. just yeah, saying. I thought I thought the Matrix kind of ended it. It like brought it into the mainstream and made it gay. No, Don Columbine ended it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>